Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Neha. I make video on tech and my life in the UK. When I started preparing for DSA, there were so many videos out there which were sharing, the engineers were sharing that how they started with DSA and within few weeks or maximum three months, they mastered DSA, they got their dream offers. These videos motivated me a lot. They made me believe that I can also do it. And as suggested in uh, in these videos, I took Lead Code, Lead Code Premium. And this is how I started with DSA. But within few weeks, I realized I cannot master DSA and forget getting a dream offer within few months uh, while preparing is not possible for me. So in this video, I am gonna share the learnings I learned from these videos and especially why it didn't work for me or the engineers like me. So that people out there who are engineer like me or who are the engineers or developers who are feeling down that why they are not able to master DSA within few weeks or months might be this video will help. I want to put a disclaimer. I'm not putting any and I'm not saying those videos are wrong or something. No, there is no bashing. It's just about self-awareness and realization. So the first thing is that my first realization out of those videos is I'm not in top one person. Might be the person who is making those video is in top one person. I myself believe that I'm not such a great engineer. If a person is putting one X of effort, I have to put 10 X effort to, you know, to do the hard work, to be the level that person is. I can do the hard work for sure, but the level of time, the effort top one person is putting and I will be putting would be very different. So for me, it was very clear that uh, for me, it is not gonna happen within three months. It will take more than that. Now, Second thing in this video was the background of the person was missing. So like in my example, uh, I'm from a commerce background. I did bachelor of computer application from a college, which I don't know t was tier two or tier three, uh, because you can guess in my batch, there were only 14 students and we, we rarely had any class. And at, when I was studying, there was no YouTube, no internet like what we have now. There was no awareness, nothing. I started my job and after a few years of working, uh, I started picking up DSA just because of these videos. So my background is very different. And the person who is making the video could be from tier one or tier two college, could be very good in already in programming, could be very good in Python, Java or something. Could be, could be having all the resources around him or her, which is easily accessible. For example, good mentors, good teachers, uh, good resources, and so on. So what I'm trying to say here is the background of the person who is putting out the video versus what is my background and situation is very different. For me, when I started do doing DSA, I was in a full-time job, which was very demanding. I used to leave my home around seven-ish, and I used to come back by 10.30 or 11.30 and my weekends were also used to be working. So imagine when I have no space for my own self, for my own, how can I spend time on DSA? Might be the person who is making that video, might be a student who has a lot of time in his or her hand, might be the, the person was working but having be, might be on bench or might be the job was fine, I don't know. I know there are a lot of people who push that you, you need to, you know, you need to uh, take out 30 minutes for your dreams and so on. My friend, I'm a, I'm a lover of quotes. I do calligraphy and so I love quotes, but the reality is also different. As in my situation, I, if I'm getting a time off, I would prefer to sleep. I would prefer to spend some time with my friends and family rather than doing DSA. It's not like DSA is not my priority, but before that, there are other priorities also. So what I'm trying to say here is when we look at those videos, when I was looking on, on those videos, I was not thinking that that person was able to do in three months because might be that person was having time in his or her hand as compared to me. I don't have so for me it won't be I won't be able to 
finish DSA within three months, it is going to take me more than that. And it's absolutely fine. The, the third thing was that what is my goal? I was having a job in my hand. I was fine with everything. So is my goal to clear an interview? Is my goal is to upskill myself? What is my goal to learn DSA? Now, why this is important? Because most of these videos talk about the patterns, lead code premium, doing 500 question, 200 question. You know that there is a cheat code of DSA. In my case, as I am, I was self-aware that I am not as smart as top 1% of the developers. For me, this rectification of patterns, uh, doing the same question again and again was not working. What was happening if there will be gap of a week or few days, I start forgetting. And when I'm sitting in an interviews and if they are changing few, few uh, variables or something, I again get failed in that. So for me, then I change my goal. Might be for them, the goal is just to clear an interview. But for me, I don't want to do that because I don't want that every time I'm changing, uh, whenever I'm changing the job, I have to restart my DSA. So what I did. So the first thing I did was I accepted that it is not going to happen in three months. And I stopped bashing myself and I stopped comparing myself with others. Second thing, I fixed on that what is my goal? My goal is not just to clear an interview. My goal is to upskill myself. My goal is to be good in problem solving in DSA. My goal changed to from clearing interview to learning DSA so that I remember and I'm not doing rectification. So when I'm sitting in an interview, I can have a good discussion with the uh, interviewer. I can also solve the problems. And for that, what I did was I didn't purchase lead code premium. I didn't follow any roadmap given by uh, these folks. Uh, why I didn't took lead code premium? Because unless and until I don't know fundamentals, there is no point of start solving problem. And then what I did was on Udemy, I purchased a course which was focusing on problem solving. And what the reason I purchased that course was only because I wanted to take a step back. Instead of directly going to DSA, I wanted to do first problem solving. These problems were like, uh, given a string, find the duplicates. Given an array, find the duplicates. Given an array, uh, break them into subarray. Uh, given a string, it's a palindrome or not. Now here you will say these are DSA. Yes, but in that course, they were not teaching like a DSA. They were teaching like that if this problem is given to you, then how as a developer, you will start approaching this problem. Instead of thinking of time complexity, space complexity, the start of that course was around 10 or 12 problems were there. And those 10 and 12 problems was just talking about the whiteboarding and then writing the code. This actually helped me a lot because now when I reflect back, now uh, I am able to do all those whiteboarding exercise very confidently. A few of the whiteboard exercise I can do mentally. So those th that course actually helped me in setting up my base for the problem solving that how should I approach a problem. As a result, what happened that it also start reflecting in my day to day job work, because when I'm working as a front end engineer or my team is in stuck in some problem, the first my intuition is, okay, what is the problem? Okay, let's break it down. Let's do a whiteboarding exercise. Okay, this is how it should be. So I saw a huge change in my job also by doing that course. So that's the second thing I did. Then I decided to practice one hour daily. Now I told you that for me, it was very hard to get one hour and I was very fine with that. But what I did this time was I decided that uh, in the morning, I will sit for an hour or basically not by clock. I will just take a question or take a topic. I will try to see how much I can focus because focusing is also an issue. So it could be 10 minutes, it could be 15 minutes and I will do it and that's it. Sometimes I used to do this exercise while I'm in cab or commuting. So I started utilizing my commuting time. The most important thing which actually very good happened with me was I enrolled myself in master degree and in that they refer me this book 
uh, introduction to algorithm this is very thick but what happened was that instead of saying that uh, you need to read whole book there was actually few sections only we were supposed to do so that actually helped me in getting into finally in data structures so in this book there are few chapters which just talk about the basic of data structures uh, the pseudo code and the five operations which should happen on data structure that was my second uh, learning and then i moved to algorithms i'm still learning everything it's not like i'm done i'm still doing it so i'm not a master first of all i'm still doing it but this book actually helped me in getting into pseudo code practice uh, thinking about data structures their pros and cons uh, all the operations five operations you can do on that those data structures so that helped me this book helped me a lot now how this helped me i i was giving a lot of interviews at that time and there were few interviews where they didn't ask me to write actual code but they asked me to write the pseudo code and then explain that how this is going to work so i can vouch that uh, if you are confident on your pseudo code you can actually in many interviews they ask you also uh, i was doing all the practice on paper of the code the reason is a lot of companies they don't give you actual code editor where the uh, and if they give there are all hints highlighting everything is done off i remember there was a time when first time i did the coding on a word doc in an interview i was just blank out it was like so embarrassing so since then i started doing the practicing on of code and programming either on paper or either on work doc so i took that path in short my learning dsa was a very long path it is not the traditional path which people tell in those videos and i'm still learning it i am still didn't i'm not able to master it i am not a master i'm still learning it and then also i read this book this is a very thin book book it's actually just a summary of uh, everything about computer science so it is also good book so yeah so these all things i did to uh, be good in dsa or to be comfortable in dsa and i wanted to put this content out the reason is i'm hopefully i'm not the alone who get the imposter syndrome when they see the such content that people are able to master dsa within few weeks to months and getting their dream offer and i know that when i failed uh doing dsa in first few weeks i actually stopped doing dsa altogether as a impost uh, it was very bad now when i when i recall it i shouldn't have given gave up just because of this but uh, yeah it's fine i was able to push pull pull myself back i was able to pursue dsa i'm still doing it so yeah this is how i did it i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any comment any suggestion please let me in the comment section thank you so much for watching take care bye